CFA stands for Chartered Financial Analyst. A Chartered Financial Analyst is a globally recognized professional designation given by the CFA Institute that measures and certifies the competence and integrity of financial analysts. Candidates are required to pass three levels of exams covering areas such as accounting, economics, ethics, money management, and security analysis. Welcome to Brilliant Academic, the channel where we cover all things related to careers and academics. A CFA's roles and responsibilities are dependent on the job that they do. A CFA can do numerous jobs, some of which include portfolio manager, researcher, consultant, risk analyst and risk manager, credit analyst, trader, accountant and auditor, financial planner, buy side or sell side research analyst, chief investment officer, corporate financial analyst, and investment banker. Most CFA charter holders are employed at big investment banks and mutual fund companies. I prefer to cover salaries in their own individual videos. I'll be covering the salaries of CFA charter holders in South Africa in a few days. So I'd recommend that you subscribe to the channel so that you can see the video when it's released. What are the requirements to become a chartered financial analyst? To enroll in the CFA program and register for your first level one exam, you must have an international travel passport and one of the following. Undergraduate education or professional work experience or a combination of professional work experience and education that totals at least four years. For undergraduate education, you're required to have a bachelor's or equivalent degree or be in the final year of your bachelor's degree program. If you're in your final year, your selected exam window for the level 1 exam must be 11 months or fewer before your graduation month. Additionally, you must complete your degree program prior to the date of sitting for your level 2 exam. For professional work experience, you're required to have 4 years of professional work experience. It does not have to be investment related. For the combination of professional experience and education, part-time positions do not qualify and the four-year total must be accrued prior to enrollment. As mentioned, the professional work experience does not need to be investment related. Internships or articles are accepted if they are paid. Work experience with your own business or your family business will qualify only if it is professional experience for which you are paid. Below are the steps on how to become a CFA charter holder. 1. Pass the CFA exams. As mentioned, the CFA program contains three levels of curriculum, each with its own exam. Passing the exam for all three levels is a requirement to obtain the CFA charter. 2. Achieve qualified work experience. You can complete the work experience requirements before, during or after participation in CFA program. Your experience must be directly involved with the investment decision-making process or producing a work product that informs or adds value to the process. Do be aware that the experience we talk about here is different to the experience that's required to take the exam. This is experience that's required for you to become a CFA charter. Three, submit reference letters. In support of your membership application, you will need to provide two to three professional references. These references will be asked to comment on your work experience and professional character. Four, apply to become a charter holder. Apply to become a regular member of CFA Institute. Once your application is approved and you have joined the CFA Institute, you will have earned the CFA charter. Click here to find out how you can become a chartered accountant in South Africa or click here to find out if chartered accountants are in demand in South Africa. That's it you guys, thanks for watching. Do check out my other videos and as always, mischief managed.